Hello, my name's Stuart Pittman. I'm the Democratic candidate for Anne Arundel County Executive. And I live in Davidsonville, which is in South County between the Patuxent River and the Road River on a family farm. And I live there with my wife and twin eight-year-old boys. They're in second grade and they go to Davidsonville Elementary School. We work on the farm, we train horses. We train ex-race horses, in fact. We train horses that have uh, need of a second career when they retire at an early age from racing. And we do that also uh, as a nonprofit organization. We built a national organization called Retired Race Horse Project. It's got about an $800,000 a year budget, publishes a magazine, and it's engaged thousands and thousands of trainers around the country in doing similar work. The, the foundation for me for being successful running a nonprofit organization and also running a business on the farm was eight years of work as a community organizer. I went to the University of Chicago. I got out and I got a job organizing neighborhood groups on the west side and the south side of Chicago. And then I did the same work in Des Moines, Iowa for about five years. And then I came back and I oversaw local organizations out of the national office in Washington, D.C. And that, that taught me that communities can get involved, that people, individual people who've never been involved in their neighborhoods and never been leaders can come together around local issues and that when they do, government works. Government works a whole lot better when people are telling it what to do and it makes better decisions. So here in Anne Arundel County, I've been involved with the Soil Conservation District and Farm Bureau and lots of local organizations. And I've seen, I've not liked the way government has worked. Um, the issue that, that all of us feel, I think, is that Anne Arundel County is growing fast. Uh, we see it in traffic that we sit in when we'd rather be at home. Uh, we see it in overcrowded schools. We see it in loss of forests and open space. And we definitely see it when we talk to our police officers and our firefighters and find out that they're trying to serve a growing call volume um, and a growing population with the same number of, of officers that they had and firefighters that they had uh, many years ago. So we elected a county executive three, almost four years ago now, um, who promised that he would remove the barriers to development and encourage growth in the county by what he calls leaps and bounds. And the, uh, the way that was done was a transition team that was made up primarily of developers and their attorneys and lowering fees and giving away tax breaks to things like the casino hotel uh, at Arundel Mills, uh, $36 million that could have gone to teachers and firefighters and other county services. Um, and I feel like we need to, to end a lot of those practices. Um, now the county executive says that uh, we have a bit of a mess and it needs to get cleaned up. He brought in a planning director who said, why are, we, why are we doing all these modifications to benefit developers and not benefit the community? We have a general development plan that is supposed to guide growth in the county, and unfortunately it's not been followed. So that to me is the foundation of the problems that we have in the county, and they're fiscal problems, they're long-term fiscal problems, because we've allowed growth to happen in ways that we've not paid for. And it's not only infrastructure, it's also services that we need to be able to provide. So looking long-term, we really need to look at what kind of growth we're gonna have. So going forward, 2019 is a very, very important year. Either our current county executive is gonna write an eight year now, it's called an eight year general development plan to define our growth, or I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna be in charge of writing the general development plan. Now, if I'm in office, it's not gonna be me writing the plan, it's gonna be you writing the plan. We have small area groups, 16 neighborhoods in this county that were involved back under the Janet Owens administration in driving the development plan for the county. And we need to reorganize those, bring them back, and let them have a say in, in what our, our plan is going forward. We also need a Forest Conservation Act in Anne Arundel County that will make it much harder for developers to cut trees down to build. It'll be similar to the Annapolis bill that passed not long ago. It'll be stronger than the state bill. Um, the, uh, the new Forest Conservation Act will drive development into areas that don't have trees, and we won't have to pay as much money for watershed restoration if we do that. The most important thing I think that we can do uh, to address this development issue is by banning money from developers to county council elections and to county executive races when they have applications pending. It's been done in other counties and we're gonna do it here. We also have to make sure that we get the pay for the teachers and the firefighters and the police and other important county officials up to the levels of neighboring counties. And if we don't do that, we can't fill the vacant positions that we've got and we can't serve our growing population. Um, we also finally need to stop pretending that everybody in Anne Arundel County is wealthy. In fact, we have poverty in this county. And we also have employers who have service sector jobs that they need 
to fill and they need to, we need to have affordable housing in the county and we need to start addressing that and we need to have a transportation plan with public transportation in the county so that folks can get to work. Our campaign slogan is putting communities first and when we put together our transition team and we put together our government, that's going to mean all communities of Anne Arundel County and I'm committed to that. This is a very important election year. I hope that all of you will get involved. Vote June 26, vote in November, but read up about all the candidates, especially for county council. Um, I really think we can take this county back.